YouTube League One tosses upon us, and that means we need the best formation right now to give us the best chances for the best ranks and for champions. And for that reason, we are going to be focusing on the 442 second variation. Yes, we are not gonna focus on the 442 flat, but this time we are going with the 442 second variation. Why? The major difference between these two formations is this. In the 442 flat version, we have two flat CMs. In the 442 holding version, we have two holding defending midfielders. Now, why do I prefer this formation over the normal 442? Two reasons. It is one, more balanced. It still allows you to manual press your opponent without getting caught on the counter attack. And it is also very good for the German crosses. So is the 442 second variation, right? However, in order to make it better, we will tweak a few custom tactics and instructions that will make it play much better in attack because this formation has a lot of gap between your midfield and the strikers. So that is the major reason most players do not like this formation. But now that is going to be out of question. So we are going to tailor this formation for everyone. If you are a pro, if you are a beginner, this formation is for you guys. It will work in FGS. It will work in foot champs. Okay. For the strikers, we are going to keep both of them on stay central. This is important guys. We need both of our strikers on the stay central instruction, right? Both of our CDMs are going to be stay back while attacking cover center. Now with the strikers, one more thing, the crucial part is we need one of our striker to play as a target player. Yes, guys, what this will do is when we are in the attacking third of the opponent, one of our striker who is on target player will drop back and he will ask for the ball on his feet, which will eliminate the gap between our midfield and our strikers. The other one is going to be balanced. If we put both of them on target players, then our attack will become a little bit too passive. That is why we are going to keep one on target player stay central and come back on defense. The other one is going to be completely balanced. Both of our RM and LM are going to be come back on defense, get into the box for the cross. Once again, this formation is very solid defensively. And once we put this instruction, what happens is that now we are very compact in the back. And when we are building up, there is less gap between our strikers, our wingers and our CDMs. Both of our fullbacks in this formation are going to be stay back while attacking and overlap because we will be using a lot of manual runs so we can trigger them forward and create some attacking opportunities. Now this is important, pay close attention. So guys, this is how our formation will set up when we are building up from the back. Please pay close attention, otherwise you will not understand how this formation works, right? So number seven and number eight, they are our LM and RM, right? They are very inverted, why? Because we will be using low attacking width that is why I said we will be triggering our fullbacks manually by clicking L1 or LB on Xbox. That will tell them to make this run, right? Now, what this will do is we will be two on one versus the opponent's full pack. And this is the situation we need to create. We can play an L1 X pass between these two players, which will force the opponent's full back to attack us and come up. And what do we need to do? We always need to put the opponent into a situation where he has to decide either is he going to press or he is going to stay back. That will provide us with more attacking opportunities, right? Our strikers, you can see the number 10, he is always going to be like this. Our number 9, because he is on comeback on defense, will be closer to our midfield compared to the number 10 striker, right? So you need this kind of balance. It will play like a little bit like 4-2-3-1 when you are building up. But once we are in the attacking third, we will see that the 4-4-2 will take its place. Guys, ideally we want to use the 442 like this, right? Our fullback will be joined the attack manually by triggering the run by clicking L1. As you can see, one of our CDM needs to be high attacking work rate. So he pushes up a little bit forward. That will once again eliminate the gap between our strikers and the midfield. Once we have this shape in the attack, it is very hard to defend if you play driven passes. Now that we know how our instructions will work in game, let's talk about the custom tactics guys. For the custom tactics, our defensive style is going to be balanced with is going to be the sweet spot, which is always 45. 45 is the best balance for this formation. Our depth is once again going to be 60, right? It's not going to be 62, it is going to be 60 and it is not going to be 71. I do not want auto offside traps. I want this formation to work very manually. So we are going to apply manual pressure, manual offside traps with the D-pad when they are required, right? Build up play is going to be balanced. Chance creation is going to be direct passing, right? If you struggle with direct passing and if you see that your players run away from you, you can put balanced as well with 
is going to be very narrow. We want this formation to be very narrow in the midfield. And once our fullbacks provide us the width, that is going to be the surprise factor. So we are going to keep the width at 35. Players in the box, we need again many recycling options. We are going to keep it at 4. Corners and free kicks are going to be at 1 each. Now guys, this formation is very good, but you always need a second formation. For that very reason, I'm going to give you the 4-3-2-1 formation. With 38, depth is going to be 71. We want this formation to play very offensive and we need to press the opponent. We want to suffocate the opponent. That is why 71 depth is the best balance. Build up play is going to be balanced. Chance creation is going to be direct passing. Width is going to be 38. Players in the box is going to be 5. 38 width once again. The goal is to create the pressure in the midfield and then provide the width on the wings with the overlapping fullbacks, right? Instructions, our striker is going to be balanced, our RM is going to be come back on defense, sorry the RF, RCM stay back while attacking cover center, CM stay back while attacking cover center, LCM cover wing balanced, RB overlap balanced, right? Our LF is going to be stay central. Our LB is going to be stay back while attacking, but we will also trigger him manually in game. These are the best custom tactics tailored to perfection.